Hello and welcome back to my tour through Tuscany in this beautiful Leica Cosmo Emblema 509e and today we are in the city of Florence. So you find me in the Parcheggio Villa Constanza, I think that's how you say it, and I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what's available here. So we'll start with the practicalities and we'll stay in the motorhome because it can be a little bit noisy outside with the traffic. So what this is, is a like a park and ride facility and we are right next to the motorway. So if I swing around this way, folks, you can see probably through the screens there, there are a, a noise barriers, sound barriers to prevent the worst of the traffic noise entering the car park area. Then over there in the far distance, you may see the buses. So that's where the tour buses park and also where the express buses stop. That's where I um, said goodbye to Sophia last night as she got her bus to Munich. So if you're meeting people on your motorhome tour, this is a really good place to uh, meet them. There is a tram stop sort of over there uh, where you can get the tram directly into Florence. And we are so close to the motorway that that is the motorway toll station. So it is bang on the motorway. It's a really, really useful place. And you can, you can see some other motorhomes over there. And you can park here in the motorhome and the cost is 10 euro per 24 hours. So there are no facilities here other than um, a little uh, toilet and cafe over in that building there, but they are locked and closed at night. So you do need your own facilities. There's no water, there's no drain, but it's a really good place if you're visiting Florence. So that's the practicalities, folks. Let, it, let us head into the city. You buy the ticket from the tram from the machine on the platform. When I was there, there was a gentleman, ahem, helping people to use the machine. But if you'd rather be left alone, just head across the track to the opposite platform where there's a machine that hardly anybody uses. You can get the instructions in English and it's very easy to use as there is just one fare for a 90 minute ticket. When you board the tram, it is essential to validate your ticket straight away at the machine. Make sure the ticket is the correct way up and the time and date is legible. The ride into the city takes about 20 minutes and the stops are announced in Italian and in English. Florence reminded me of my old stomping ground, Paris. The beauty, the charm, the distinctive smell, and the fact that like any tourist magnet, you need to be on your guard against organized beggars and hawkers. However, nothing can quite prepare you for the stunning Dormo in the historic center of Florence, declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1982. The Domo is quite simply stunning. If the breathtaking complexity and the beauty of its decoration doesn't overwhelm you, the crowds just might. A short walk takes you to the Palazzo Vecchio in the Piazza del Signoria, the town hall of Florence, which holds a copy of Michelangelo's David. Alternatively, you can simply admire the statues outside. As Frankie Howard used to say, Filth! This isn't filth, this is art!
Anyway, let's head down to the River Arno, the Ponte Vecchio, where the opulent storefronts of the jeweler's shops that line it on both sides belie the fact that said shops are actually propped up at the back by wooden stilts. Cross the bridge and you end up at the enormous Palazzo Pitti. The palace itself is the largest museum complex in Florence. Me, I decided to act upon a recommendation from a Caravan and Motorhome Club site manager and instead chose to visit the adjoining Bobbly Gardens. You can buy a ticket for the whole complex or just the gardens, the latter costing 10 euro. However, when looking for the loo, I stumbled into the palace's private chapel, which is open to all ticket holders. My top tip when entering the gardens is to take a photo of the map near the entrance as there were no more maps around the gardens. I cannot put into words just how big the gardens are. I spent over three hours just wandering and taking it all in. After a calming and enjoyable three hours, I had only one thing left on my mind. Gelato. Mmm, dairy-free chocolate. As it's plant-based, that makes it practically a vegetable, doesn't it? It was then time for a slow wander back to the station and the tram back to the motorhome.
home sweet home. Mm. You know, gelato is all well and good, but sometimes there is just nothing like a cup of tea. And that is what I think is just the best thing ever about a caravan or motorhome holiday is the fact you, you can just make a decent cup of tea wherever you are. Oh. So that was a full on day in Florence. And oh my word, you could spend all week in Florence and still barely scratch the surface. There is so much to do. There's so much going on. But I really enjoyed the gardens at Bob Bobble Bobble Jardin Bobbo Bobby me and Bobby and Bobby's I'll link of a link in the description below. Uh, huge, absolutely huge. I mean you could just spend all day in the gardens actually at the palace there. But I really enjoyed that. Uh, it's been a full on few days. So what I think I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go after all these cities, I'm gonna go somewhere very different and much much quieter so i hope you join me in the next video for that in the meantime i'd like to say a massive thank you to Leica uk who have sponsored this vlog without influencing the content and for the loan of this beautiful Leica cosmo emblema 509e i will leave a link to the Leica uk website in the description below this video so please check out this beautiful motorhome and don't forget there will be a full review at the end of this series so thank you so much for joining me today folks on my day trip to Florence I hope you enjoyed it if you did you know what to do please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you don't already and it just leaves me to say from Dougal who's back home in Uist And from me, thanks for churning in. Mm, excuse me. Oh, 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 oh. oh, that's a nice cup of tea. Oh, mm, oh, oh gosh, I inhaled that. I think I'd better go and make another one. <laughs>